The reality is long term in this state, perhaps not in the short term, but long term, you have to increase economic investment. That's what's not in the budget. Let me make it more specific and concrete, because many times we have this debate, I call it a very sterile debate. One side says these are job killer bills, this hurts business. The other side said this is about fairness, fairness and equity. So let me give you a couple of concrete examples. One I like to use is Intel, because we all know who they are. Silicon Valley is named after the chips, the silicon chips they first manufactured. Specific policies adopted by California, specific policies resulted in their spending billions of dollars in new factories in neighboring states. In Oregon, in New Mexico, where they're one of the largest employers in the state, and in Arizona, where they're building one of the biggest chip factories in the world. Now, we happen to be a state that imposes a sales tax on manufacturing equipment. That wasn't a big deal for me in my business. We bought a saw, we bought a forklift. It would have saved us money. But for a company like that, with huge investments, billions of dollars in investments, and highly sophisticated equipment, that makes a difference. And they have to do that. They've got a duty, a fiduciary duty, to do the best they can for their shareholders, which include our own retirement systems. And let me give you one other concrete example. We talk about jobs, we talk about investment, but let's put a face on it. I happen to have been in business and seen what it's like when you have to lay off an actual person, a person or persons, when you have to debate ahead of time, can we do this? Can we go another two or three months? We're losing money, can we avoid this? Because you know those people. We talk about small businesses as being the revenue generators. Well, in small business, you know those people. You know their families. I'll tell you, it's a really difficult experience to have to say to someone, to have to say to a tough guy, I'm sorry. We can't keep you on. And watch the tears start to form. Have him say, Mr. Wyland, I don't know if I can get another job. What, how will I take care of my family? It's very, very real. But unless we recognize the impact this has on individuals and make some changes in specific policies, we won't fix that. And I'll tell you the easiest way to do that is to have them come here and tell us. If the governor and the leaders and all of us would ask them to, they would be here next week. They'll tell us exactly what they need to make those new investments in California. I'm sorry that's missing in this budget. I hope we can deal with that as quickly as possible. Californians deserve it. They deserve no less.